Welcome to this tutorial on how to use a purchase superstar sequence in Liderama's S5 sequencer. To start, I'm just going to run the sequencer, um, which again, as I've said in a previous tutorial, is best done by running the control panel, um, which runs the calm listener, which is what um, allows your lights to work properly. Um, so I'm going to right click on that little light bulb icon and just select sequencer. And here we are. And I'm just going to create a new musical sequence, and this time I'm going to use Rocky Merry Gentleman as my song. Say open. And I'm going to keep all these things, including using my house display 2008 preview, which is a preview I've made in a previous tutorial. I'm just say create. And here I'm just going to go up to um, house display, the name of the preview, and click on preview design. And this opens up the window that is identical to the one that would open if I went over to previews and said edit preview. Um, so here we can see all the stuff that is already in my preview. We've got um, just regular old lights on the roof, windows, bushes, etc. This time I'm going to say add item and instead of doing new proper group I'm just going to say new um, superstar online and say continue. And here we see all of these pixel options, RGB pixels, um, including um, the CCR tree for 12, 16, 12 CCR, 16 CCRs, um, the 16 by 25 pixel tree, um, as well as a 24 by 25 with the 8 row, glo eight row globe topper, um, and 25 by 50, um, as well as the circles and spider web. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you three examples. I'm going to use the CCR tree for 16 CCRs, um, as well as the 16 by 25 um, pixel tree, um, and the 24 by 50 um, pixel tree with the 8 row globe to topper. So I'm going to start with the 16 CCR tree and just click that box there and say import checked items and this automatically creates these props for us so I'm going to resize this and um, I'm gonna make sure to select the ribbons plus star so it's all together I'm just going to resize this whoops and put this in front of my garage here Make it a little bit bigger there we go um, and we can see we have some channel conflicts um, which is really all with um, the star at the top so I'm just going to go down to um, the star and double click to edit it um, and here we can see it defaulted to the to the regular network which which we do want in this case um, and there's 16 other lights so I'm just going to change this unit number to be 17 so it's not conflicted there and say save and now we have no channel conflicts um, there's something else I want to show you about how you set up your networks um, the CCRs by default if I double click on here don't start on the regular network like all the other lights. They default to the auxiliary A network. Um, now this may or may not be what you want depending on your setup. So for a minute I'm just going to say save and I'm going to go over here to control lights and show you some things about the network preferences. Um, and to do this I need to turn off or disable light control. So I just say yes. Um, and then this window comes up which your window might not look exactly like this because it might be in simple mode. So if I click on here um, you can see in simple mode, um, but for this example, let's go ahead and say advanced so we can have more options. Um, you can see here I've got the regular network and the auxiliary A network. Um, so it all depends on what kind of controllers you have. If you have the new 16 channel controllers, which are also known as AC controllers, um, that are the Gen 3 controllers, then you can just put everything on this regular or standard network and it will run just fine. Um, as long as you've set the speed to be 500k um, and you check it to be enhanced, then it will run just fine. Um, and you know that you have the newer controllers if you've bought them since um, 2016 and you know that they're Gen 3 if the name of the controller has a 3 at the end. Um, but if you don't have one of the newer controllers and you have the older ones that are not Gen 3, then you're going to want to use two networks, kind of like how I have here. Um, put all the 16 channel controllers or AC controllers on the regular network um, with the speed being 57.6k um, and it not being enhanced and then you can put all the pixels, or the, all the RGB pixels, so in this case um, all the, the CCRs on the auxiliary A network um, and again set the speed to be 500k and check it to be enhanced and the reason you do this is so that it's not laggy. If you put everything on the regular network when you have those older controllers then it just is really laggy and doesn't look very good. Um, so you want to do it like this. Um, and one last thing, if you, um, uh, you you might try to check this and it will give you an error. 
Um, and that's because um, you just need to go over to this miscellaneous tab and uncheck the use compatibility mode for old MCP channel controllers, which as it says is old channel controllers. If you don't know what they are, you certainly don't have them. A very small percentage of people have them. Um, so you can almost always just uncheck that um, and then it will let you set it to enhanced so that everything can be optimized and look its best. Okay, so moving on from that, let's use some purchase sequences. So I'm just going to go ahead and save my file as Rocky Ray Gentleman. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down and find the ribbons plus the star. And we can see it's already black, it already has the motion effect row, so we're all set there. So all I have to do is right click and say select row, so it selects everything there. And then I just right click and say insert superstar effect. And this opens the superstar sequencer. I'm just going to resize this here so you can see everything. Okay. And from here, all I have to do is go to File, Open. Um, and this is where, when you download your sequence that you've purchased, this is where it downloads to um, by default in Superstar Slash Sequences. So I'm just going to scroll down to Rocky Murray Gentleman for 16 CCRs and just say Open. Um, and it says it's been converted to work with the star and the visualization. And that's just because the star from the visualization is over here as opposed to in its own box like it is normally. Um, so it converted it for us, so everything's all set there. So I just say OK, and then we can play it. OK, it's looking good. So now all we have to do is just close it and say, yes, save the changes. And then that entire purchase sequence just gets brought over here. OK, so now we can play it um, in the S5 sequencer. There it is, so now it's all set. Um, so now I want to show you the um, 16 by 25 pixel tree, so I'm just going to go back up to preview design, and I'm just going to delete uh, my 16 CCR tree. Okay, and now I'm going to again go to add item um, and select superstar online, and this time I'm going to select the 16 by 25 pixel tree. You're going to see there's two options here, first string and back, first string on left. For the purchase sequences, um, you're going to want first string on the left. So I'm just going to check on that one and say import. And there it is. I'm going to select that and resize it in front of my garage again. Boop. And again, there's channel conflict, so I'm just going to double click. And since these are our RGB pixel lights, I'm going to move it to auxiliary A network again because I'm assuming I've got the old controllers that can't handle it all on the regular network. Um, so there we go, no channel conflicts, just say save. Um, and you can see it, it remembers my old props, um, they've got archive props, I'm just going to delete them just to clean it up a little bit. Um, so again, same thing, we've got the pixel tree, and it's already got the motion effect row, because it's black, and um, I'm just going to select it, right click, say select row, so everything's selected, and then right click, insert superstar effect. And now we get this box about, um, do you want to import in wraparound mode since it's a 360 degree prop, you know, it goes all the way around. So the answer is just yes, yes I do. So now we've got the superstar sequencer, and again I'm just going to resize this so you can see it. And same thing, file, open, and I'm going to scroll down to Rocky Murray Gentleman for the 24 by, um, sorry, for the 16 by 25 tree. Say open, and then we can play it. <laughs> it all looks good, so then we just close it. Okay, and do I want to save the changes? Yes. Um, so I brought over all the information about that um, sequence, and we can just play it here. Looking good. Um, so I got one more thing I want to show you. So I'm going to go back up to the house display preview design. Um, and I'm going to uh, delete the pixel tree. And this time I'm going to add um, an item, Superstar Online. And this time I'm going to select the 24 by 50 um, pixel tree with the 8 row globe topper. Um, again with the first string on the left. Let's just check that. Import checked items. 
Okay, there it is. So I'm going to select tree plus globe and resize it in front of the good old garage. Whoops. Okay, and again we got channel conflicts, so I'm just going to double click on the tree, uh, which is left because the pixels are on the left, and I'm just going to change that to the auxiliary A network um, since it's the uh, RGB pixels so that it runs smoother. Um, and since the globe on top is also RGB pixels, I'm going to double click on that and change that to the auxiliary A network as well. So say save. And here we go. So again, I'm going to delete that archive prop just to clean it up a little bit. And now we've got our tree plus the globe. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, select row. Again, it's the motion effect row. Right click and insert superstar effect. Um, again, do I want wraparound mode because it's a 360 degree prop? Yes. Um, I got this error because um, I have the 16 CCR superstar license on this, um, which as this says, allows playing for up to 2550 channels. Um, but the 24 by 50 tree has 4200 channels, which is more than that. So it says you can still create a sequence and you can play it on the superstar screen. Um, and it will be saved here, but it will not play to this sequencer screen, the S5 sequencer screen, nor will it play to your actual lights. Um, but, which is true, but with a purchase sequence, you can still play it um, to your lights and in the sequencer as long as you don't modify it. So I'm going to show that to you here. So I just say OK, and here it is. Um, and again, I'm going to resize this so we can see. And now, uh, same thing, I'm just going to say File, Open, um, and this time, since there's not a Rocky Mary Gentleman um, for 25 by 50 tree, um, I'm going to use the Deck the Halls for the 25 by 50 tree. So the music um, is wrong, but it's the same, same idea. Um, so here I can just play it. Which, hey, the music actually still kind of works with that, looks good. Um, so then I can just close it, and do I want to save the changes? Yes. And there it goes. It saved it without any problem or any error message, so I could just play it here. It's a little dark at first. See, it's playing just fine. It even still kind of works with the music, even though it's the wrong music. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you, if you edit it, um, then it will not work. So if you just double click on this for editing, um, which is consistent among all of them. So it's got the same question uh, about the three wraparound mode, yes. It's got the same error. I just say OK. And now if I just scroll over in this um, in the sequence and I just take one of these effects and I modify it somehow, so I'm just going to like shorten it a little bit um, and then just close it. I didn't change the screen size for you. But now if I just close it, do I want to save changes? Yes. And then it thinks for a little bit. Okay, this time I've got this message, modify. So I got the effects from Superstar, but it won't be displayed in the sequencer nor on your lights um, as the other error message said. So now since I edited it, modified it, if I try playing it, See, we got nothing. It doesn't play anything over there because I changed the purchase sequence um, and I don't have the license to use that many channels. So, as long as you don't modify it, you can use any purchase sequence um, regardless of your license level. So, that is all I have for you and I hope you have a superb day.